welcome to this episode of On Finding Peace, brought to you by Life's Journey Life Coaching. Our host, Chris Shea, is a counselor, nationally recognized speaker, and author on topics of guiding us to finding peace in our daily lives. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com. Another episode of On Finding Peace. I'm your host, Chris Shea, and this is the podcast where we talk about practical tips for everyday living that can lead us into that sense of feeling more at peace within ourselves, can help us with our own anxieties and questionings about life. And I like to bring on a special guests who have some insight and wisdom to share with us on, on how we can do that. So today we're very pleased to uh, present uh, Robert and Sarah, who are with the I Am Sapien website, and they're going to explain what all that is about and how that can help uh, all of us and, and possibly the world, if I can say, uh, you know, become a better place and, and better people. So welcome to you both. Thank you, Chris. Good to be here. Thank you. Great. Well, it's great to have the both of you. And, uh, you know, I, I've uh, logged into the website myself and uh, haven't yet started using it, but I do have a profile up there and, you know, look forward to uh, working, you know, on that site because I, I really am impressed with what you're trying to do and, and what the goal is. Can you explain to the audience, you know, kind of what all this is about? Well, it certainly is a lofty goal, goal to help the world, but that <laughs> is what the website's there for. And it's not that the website is going to help the world, it's that the individual is empowered to do what they need to do, to do their part and make our society a little bit better day to day. Uh, one thing people can do is just take what is their major interest in life uh, and maybe they already have something written about that and just post it on the site. That would be a good start. Is the site free and open to anybody? The site is free. Uh, right now, everyone who gets on is a gold member, meaning they have unlimited avatars and unlimited potential to post different topics. Soon we'll be launching the uh, membership sign up. And then people can choose if they want to continue as free or pay a nominal amount and receive more avatars, uh, more advantages for posting information. Okay, great. Um, so what is it that you're looking for on the site? What would people be posting and uh, how do you see that making the accomplishments that you're hoping for? Partly, it's to get good content on there. It's really important that people realize that in themselves is something we could all cherish. And that little something is called human intelligence. I, I'm really fretful that maybe we're losing our appreciation of what humanity is all about. Well, we have the ability to uh, make community work. In fact, that's our responsibility. And so each of us needs to look inside and find what is our interest and our courage and develop. Now that's going to come forward in the website as something of interest that other people are going to share in. They're going to want to support what you're doing. Uh, we'll start cooperating on these topics and that's going to go somewhere. So the way that I'm understanding with the site, if I have some idea or some insight into what can help people or groups, then I would post that on there. Where does it go from there? Or is this a, a repository just for discussion? Or do you see it leading into something more? It's very different about this site. I don't know that that exists anywhere else. And that is that this site is constructed to take your personal wisdom and put it to action globally. Mm -hmm. 
it's a little strange talking about crowdsourcing and it's a little unusual to talk about how much collaboration needs to occur because we create uh, groups and we tag our information but mostly it's about crowdsourcing and crowdsourcing is this magic that's happening in the world so advertisers are learning about crowdsourcing to find out what appeals to people manufacturers are learning about crowdsourcing because they can develop a product very quickly and add new features that would not have been thought of if it weren't for crowdsourcing crowdfunding is asking people what is the best thing to put your money into and change the way the world works so all of these prove that asking the crowd is a smarter way uh, to make our economy work to make community work uh, to make industry work and now we're going to use crowdsourcing uh, more in a broad sense mm -hmm. we need to choose a direction for our, our future and we call these people activated so being activated is to use the site uh, to put your idea and begin crowdsourcing and that happens simply by voting so when i look at something that interests me on i am sapien and i apply a vote i have decided whether that is going to move up or down in the importance of things in society. So is there something of medical interest mm -hmm. that interests people? Is there something of government interest? Is there new technology? Is there a way of feeding people? Is there a way of restoring the environment? Is there a way of... Uh, changing the way my city works. Um, I, I would really enjoy a functional community. I'm working um, with a group to do permaculture. So mm. I want my permaculture group to get on the site. And it doesn't work just to tell people between our group that permaculture is important. We have to tell the world that soil biology is very complicated and needs to be supported. We need to tell people that it's really good to get out in the dirt and add carbon materials to the soil uh, and manage uh, the moisture retention in the soil and develop vegetables and fruits that have higher nutrition. So the site will hopefully people see that and vote up these ideas and begin a gradual movement in society towards what is more intelligent. And I kind of hate to use that word intelligence. It, it's been misplaced in our society somewhere. I don't know where they put it, but mm -hmm. it still exists. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, I really like what you're saying because I've found that as well, and beside my private practice in uh, life coaching and counseling, I also teach at a couple different universities, and even in, in those settings, I think we're losing a sense of community dialogue, we're losing a sense of intellectual dialogue. Um, it, it seems to me that people want to just memorize data and spit back data without thinking things through and, and analyzing how things interact with other things and, you know, try to think outside of the box. It, it seems just very data driven. Give it to me. I'll spit it back out. We're getting lazy. Yeah. Just wait mm. for me to come in. I'll hit a button on my phone and, I'll go back to dinner. I have been a, a, an odd person, I suppose, but when people suggested to me there was room for improvement in our education system, and I traveled hundreds of miles just to attend the meeting, and they gave me the job of sorting through all the different school models out there, 
to choose one. And I spent months educating myself, myself about what is child education, what is child development, and finally came up with a model called Sudbury Valley. And we modified that for our own uh, creation of a school model. My pay for that was zero, but my pay for that was a sense inside myself uh, of accomplishment, that I was doing something for my community, Mm -hmm. that that I was learning something important, uh, that kids would be smarter because they would be receiving a type of education that would work for them better. I want other people to have in them, find in themselves the motivation where they would enjoy seeing something change in society. It's worth it to spend a few minutes a day, a few hours a day to organize in your mind and then organize some content on the computer and send it off on I Am Sapien for everyone to appreciate. Now, if I had the site uh, 15 years ago, then I might have put my information uh, into an avatar I had created for this education purpose, and then I simply would have shared the avatar with the rest of the group. It would have been so simple. I wouldn't have to have driven uh, hundreds of miles down into uh, Oregon (laughs) uh, to connect with these people and deliver the message. So it's really using the technology to bring together the world so we can help make changes in the world is essentially what I'm hearing. Yes, the world is changing very rapidly. And the question is, are people going to be a part of that change or just a cog in the wheel and see where the change takes them? Uh, I'm highly in favor of the first agenda where we take control of our own future. That's what community has been about for thousands of years, is people deciding on, um, well, not a mission in life, on a code. We decide on a code we're going to live by. And then we modify what we're doing in life to live by that code. The United States was created based on a code called the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Now that has been really important to us for a couple hundred years. Uh, I decided I should take a class in the Constitution, and then I took the class again, and then I took the class again, and I found out that the people who wrote that were really smart people. And they gave us an opportunity. Now on I Am Sapien, I would like for people to share that education, how important it was to create a code to operate by in this country, and how we can live our lives uh, in a way that's productive. And we seem to have lost a lot of that sense of our country. I've lost pride in my country. I've lost a sense of direction in the country. And it's no politician's fault. It's mine. Because if I'm to use my intelligence to learn about the Constitution of the United States, and understand how we function as a community here. Right. Well, and, and I totally agree, you know, and, and that's where I was mentioning earlier, and, and I like the way you just come out and say it. It's we're getting lazy, and, you know, especially when it comes to our education. How do we encourage people to partake in something like this? You know, one of the things that really attracted me to the site and and to wanting to speak with you is all the things that you're saying, you know, we we get a group of people together to really, you know, use the intellects that we have and share all this, uh, you know, great knowledge and ideas and one idea leads to another and so on and so on. But how do we motivate people? You know, if somebody's sitting, you know, at home or wherever they are, you know, listening to this, 
what, what would be their reason? You know, what, why would I would jump on something like this or even care? I, you know, I asked that of myself. What is it that motivated me to spend months of effort? Uh, actually, it was years of study of uh, child development and what is education. And then all of that study was moved into what am I going to do with all this learning? Do I write a book? No, I create a, a website. And it's not just a website, it's going to have to be a platform. And it can't be just for my community. It has to be for the whole community. What inspired me to go through all of these steps? And the short answer is, I don't know. But maybe there's something in a person's soul. Or maybe people have found courage. Or maybe they love their children so much, they can't bear the idea of their children not having a better life than I had. We're having a hard time answering this question because we need to direct our efforts at a target audience. So we're doing a little bit of crowdsourcing ourselves. We're on, uh, Sarah, we're on Facebook, and what else are we on? Yep, we're on um, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, um, Robert has a blog. I would encourage people to go to blog.imsapien.com uh, if they like what they're hearing because Robert is filled with amazing information and ideas and he shares that on the blog. So yes, we're trying to get out there and figure out uh, who that target population is. And it's difficult because those brilliant minds exist everywhere um, in few. They're not just one concentrated area. Uh, it's not just the doctors of the world. Um, it's everyone. It's the, uh, you know, stay-at-home mom. It's it's maybe a scientist. Maybe it's, you know, someone working at a grocery store. These people have brilliant ideas and they're not being heard. And so we want to make sure that we create a platform where everybody can be heard. So, and, and that brings kind of lead into what my next question was, is the definition of, you know, intelligence or or being an intellectual you know and, and what that encompasses you know so are we looking for the smartest of, of society or it's more that mix and, and i think you kind of answered that you know in, in saying it, it's really anybody with with ideas that can promote and move forward our, our society well each person does their part no one should think i have to do it all that's just overwhelming no, each person just does the part that they're interested in. This is much like um, the brain functions. So there's intellect is one part of the brain structure which abstracts information and then puts it back together in a different form. And mm -hmm. there will be people on the website who love to do that and they will be an important aspect of the function. Uh, other people tend to think emotionally, they think with their heart, they think from values, they think from ethics, they have long range goals in mind, and they really care about people. So we need these heartfelt people on the site to express that side of life. There so, are many forms of intelligence. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, no, 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 please continue. So when we research it, there are different forms of intelligence. That's not really how we, we are going to reach people. We, we need people who have the courage to see life mm -hmm. differently. We're becoming a rare breed. So in that sense... Who's going to really kick this side off in the right direction is going to be those people who've had the courage to look inside themselves and reevaluate their lives and then look outside and reevaluate what society is doing. And they see a conflict of interest there. These are the people who are going to be motivated to do some research and put some practical information on the site. 
the website is, is a platform designed not just to accept that information, but to move it into what we call a different matrix. Uh, there's different matrices on the site and they accumulate different types of information. Mm -hmm. But one of those matrices is for putting the information to action. We need to form groups around uh, what to do with uh, information about making a change in the city or a change in the environment. That group of people will be a committee that goes to work on that and designs uh, an action program. Okay. From there, it goes to a matrix where it says, we, this group of people made this. How many million of you want to get behind us on this project? Because this is going to change everything. And the million people who understand, yes, that would be of great value in my life. They're going to support these people by voting for congressmen, by giving $5, by giving of their time, uh, by giving their physical support. That's what community is about. That's going to make the big change in society. It's the right. of community. And, and that's where the website comes in where you know person starts out with that idea and it progresses through to the conclusion of, of what you had just mentioned yeah that's exciting that you can do it all on one web platform and the point is you can get all of this support together you can get together this all the information and get together uh, with people as a group and then uh, share from I Am Sapien on, onto all kinds of uh, social media. And finally end up in a uh, crowdfunded site. So we won't do crowdfunding ourselves, but people will pull together the thousands of people they need to make a crowdfund project work. So we're utilizing the social aspects of, of what the internet has become and not just now social media per se as that separate entity, but now we're taking the social media and saying, all right, let's not just like things and comment and repost things, but let, let's come out and say, here's, here's the ideas that'll make a difference in the world and let's get everybody to jump in on this and put in their two cents and then maybe somebody creates this crowdfunding and then, you know, we get these committees together and it, it, am I on the right track? You certainly are. It's so important that information, information actually does something. Now our society has moved away from that. We, I call it waterfall uh, information. So you, you go to a waterfall and you watch the water falling through the air and that's the end of the story. You walk away. That's like the information we see on so much social media, on television. We look at it happen and we walk away and that's the end of the story. That's really sad because this information and communication are very basic substances to what makes society work. So on I Am Sapien, that information stays there. It doesn't go away. Uh, it will stay there until people haven't looked at it for a couple of years, and then we'll put it in the trash, and sometime after that, it will go away. <laughs> but for the, yeah. put something on I Am Sapien, it's there for people to connect to. It's there for people to add their comments to. And it's there for the person who put it there in the first place to go back again and again and improve the information. As that information improves and develops, it becomes more and more powerful. More and more people connect. Right. So we, 
you know, we yeah, have- this is like really fascinating because it is bringing together people who, in most cases, would never be able to come together. You know, they wouldn't have you know the resources or even know that somebody was working on something, and now it opens up this opportunity to. I would assume millions of you know uh, people who can participate in something that they normally wouldn't be able to. Exactly. This speeds up the information flow rapidly. An example is what happened to me. Uh, yesterday, I connected with a person who locally uh, makes apps for mobile devices. I have been looking for a year for who is it that makes apps. And I've looked in uh, Portland, Oregon. I've looked in Seattle. And I didn't know that down the street from me was an organization that that's exactly what they do. Yeah. It's sad that I didn't have a resource that I could tap into that said, uh, in your area, um, yeah, I should have been able to do this on Google, but I don't know why it didn't come up. But our site will be dedicated to people in that, such as that business, who can actually advertise on our site, and they will uh, put values in there that I can search for, and we will connect uh, not just uh, from an advertising point of view, but actually... Uh, maybe develop a team effort on our site. It's strange, but I've, I've worked on this website for five years. It would have been so much easier if five years ago I'd had the website to do all this on. It, it's amazing to me how technology has advanced to such a degree, you know, that, we're now pulling in people and I know there's the studies that say we're, we're more isolated than ever, but you know, in, in areas like this, we're really pulling in community and that's only because of the technology that's enabling that to happen. I'd like to add, um, I think you had a good point. We have these different social media sites and um, we're aware of the intentions behind those sites. So if I want to look at pictures, I go to Instagram. If I want to talk to my family and post pictures of my kids or what I had for dinner, which is all fantastic. I, you know, I go to Facebook and you have these different sites you go to. And I, we need people to be aware that the intention behind I am sapien is to create change. So there's no room for negativity. There's no room for arguing. This is a team effort. Um, everyone's coming together and knowing that if I, if I have an intention of making change in the world, I'm going to do that at I Am Sapien. Mm-hmm. And, and as that becomes known, it, it's just this fluid motion of, okay, I'm going to you know, go to Instagram for pictures. I'm headed to Facebook to post something in my family. And, oh, I just was aware that they spray pesticides at my child's school, and I, I want to change that. I'm going to go to I Am Sapien. So we're hoping people get the, the very clear intention um, that we have in wanting to make the world better. Right. So this is a intellectual dialogue, not a back and forth argument. Correct. Right. Well, let's, get, let's really get, get out of the argument. When people realize argument doesn't go anywhere, it just wastes time. So that it just isn't going to exist on our side. And, and that's excellent to hear. And, and that's something where, you know, I really think we're losing that as a society, as well as the educational piece, uh, you know, because now we, we've gotten into this where it does become argument versus debate, you know, and, and in debate, we can walk away still in, in disagreement, but maybe better for the disagreement where it now seems today, we don't debate, we argue our point, and if you don't agree with me, then I'm going to call you names and never talk to you again. Yeah, we're, 
It's, there's some natural tendency in people to be attracted to danger uh, and to argument. I, I don't understand why we've gone overboard in that extent. I, I really don't. Our society yeah, I, ne- didn't get built on that. It got built on cooperation. Mm-hmm. And, you know, built on people didn't always agree with each other, but they listened to, you know, the, the arguments. They listened to the debate. And then they moved forward in, in compromise or in saying, well, I didn't win this one, and, you know, we'll move on to something else. And th- that's where we're missing things today, you know. And because, yeah, I mean, the founding fathers didn't all agree on everything that they did, but they still came together and made it happen. Exactly. Um, coming together and making something happen. And who's going to do that on this site? I hope some of the people listening to this podcast realize it's not someone else's responsibility. So, personally, I'm excited uh, to make change. I wasn't going to push my ideas on the site. I wanted to push for other people to be interested in having their ideas on the site. So right Mm -hmm. now, as we start up, Uh, This website, this web platform is just an open slate. It's just waiting for people to come on and begin the conversation. Well, and and I find it very exciting, you know, when that happens, you know, to start seeing what's being put up there and where people's thoughts are going and what we can do to encourage that. And that's the other reason I, I wanted to have you on is so that we could you know, really start to get that, uh, you know, word out to people what this is about and how we can draw, uh, you know, people into beginning to share what they're thinking. And, you know, so many people I talk to are are frustrated because, you know, they'll say to me, you know, I've got these ideas and it might be good, but what do I do with it? And to me, this would be a, a perfect platform. You know, what do you do with it? Well, get onto the site and put it out there and let's see what happens to it. As a person who is a student of life, I know that personally I want to progress, and that's enough impetus for me. When I look outside myself and see where society is going, then there's absolutely zero question. The impetus is there to do something different. I don't think there's any lack of number of people in this country who share in that opinion. Now, why would they choose courage to make a change? Let's figure that out. I, someone help me. If anybody else there out there understands, who are these people who have courage to go, I'm responsible for making a change? How many people are out there? Are we of such a special group that it's going to be us, the minority, who says there's a way of making society work? And and that's where I think that motivation piece comes in. I I think we've been so, I I think, disheartened in, in... you know, a lot of people saying, well, I have these ideas or here's things I would love to do, but they seem to be put down when they've tried. And, you know, there hasn't seemed to be a, a platform that, that they can express this or, you know, people start saying, you know, well, you know, government is too big now. And, uh, you know, all these other excuses, I think part of it is the uh, just, you know, disenchantment of the general populace and you know maybe this now becomes that way for them to find the encouragement again that you know you know someone is actually going to listen and even more than that someone or groups of someone's may actually start moving your idea forward i 
I've considered getting in touch with uh, homeschoolers and people who are already on an alternative approach because they've already decided that they can do something different in life. Now, who are the other people who've already decided they, they're on a track to do something different in life? Uh, it's people buying organic at the store. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's people who love new technology. They like uh, social change. Uh, it's people who are riding their bicycle to work. I bet there's a lot of people who are writing in to the editor at the newspaper and not seeing their comments going anywhere. So maybe right. maybe it's those people who should put their comments on I am Sapien and put together bring together uh, hundreds or thousands of people with the same opinion. And I would totally agree and, and encourage you know, everyone listening to this to do that, you know, and um, I, I don't think any ideas you know, too small, um, but I, I think if we start pooling these ideas together, one is going to lead to another, which is going to lead to another, and it might even morph into a much greater idea than the one would have ever imagined. It's crowdsourcing. Crowdsourcing is going to ask who has the best ideas, and that goes right to the front. It goes to the front of the matrix, and then it goes right onto your own homepage. Um, your own question might not make it to the top. Uh, you as an avatar might not be that top avatar presented on the homepage, but that doesn't stop the process because this process is between you and your friends. It's between you and the other 50 people in your hometown who have the same idea. And then the process is between you and the other 30,000 people across the globe who also share in the same impetus to do something of good change on the planet. Right. And, and that, to me, is what brings the excitement for this. That This is why I, I really want to, you know, help in whatever way is possible to, you know, encourage people to get onto this site and to express their ideas and, uh, you know, really start working it so that we can make a better society. And, and I know that's possible. I, I never want to give up hope. And to me, this is one of those tools that, is continuing to foster that hope in a very real way. I want people not to take this too serious to begin with, because when you get on as a free member and post in the lounge, uh, nothing counts against you. So go ahead and just play in the lounge, uh, play around with some ideas and, and see what you like uh, inter interfacing with people. The lounge is made for that process and to learn the system on I am sapien. Once you've got something of interest, then it's reposted into one of the matrices. There it does count that you've put up quality because people will be voting you up and voting the stuff that doesn't matter down. Mm -hmm. so, so you've learned in the lounge what people enjoy and when you put it up on the matrix, those same people will follow you and vote up uh, your input on the matrix. And then other people will add in similar content. Uh, we're adding uh, a number of things to the website, but it's going to include linking. So oh. I'm going to link my avatar to these other 10 avatars that are doing the same thing I'm doing. We are a force. Exactly. We're going to link... Uh, one article to another article so that people can follow the progression of information in a logical manner. It's no longer up to just me. So I don't have to worry about that because I have the power of the community behind me. All I have to do is my little part. Exactly. 
And that, as you had mentioned earlier, becomes something that's doable. And it's not all on me. And we can still get these ideas moving forward and do what we need to do. And I've played my role in what hopefully is going to be something great for society down the road. We tried to make the process as simple as possible. When I first went to work on this, everything was so complicated and it would be nothing that anyone could follow uh, on a web platform. So it was rethought uh, over and over again uh, for a couple of years before it actually started to come together. So when you get on the website now, there's just a few choices to make. One, I'm going to uh, sign up, or two, I'm just going to click one of these three boxes and browse and see what's on here. And if I think, well, maybe I have something to put on here, it only takes a minute and I'm into the lounge with an avatar and uh, just cut and paste my information and I'm done for the day. Mm -hmm. So I hope that's, that's so simple that people can't even resist <laughs> uh, trying it out. Exactly. And, and I encourage, you know, everyone listening to do as you said, you know, log into that site and browse around and, and see where it, it leads you. And you never know what it may stimulate within yourself and, and then just go for it, you know, take a risk and, and make it happen. Um, so I, I'm really encouraged by this. I, I think this is a, an awesome idea that really has a potential and, and gives me a lot of hope uh, for the future. And I, I really thank the both of you for taking this time to be with us and to share the, this awesome resource. A pleasure, Chris. It's a wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Can I add one more thing? Oh, please. Um, I would just like to say that if, if people go check out the site, um, one way that you can be of uh, very helpful to us is that under the logo on the top left of the screen, um, there's a drop down menu and there's a, a few options, four options, but two of those are um, issues and improve I am sapien. So mm. we want to give people privacy as, the, as they're posting and things like that. But the only way that we know if we're doing a good job or if it's confusing or if it's amazing is if we get some feedback. So if people could, could click on the logo um, and either click on ideas they have because we're doing our own crowdsourcing and we want to know what you think will make our site better or if there's some issues you're having, please post those um, under the issues matrix and um, let us know, you know, what, what we can do better or what we're doing great. That, that would be very helpful. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, yeah, whatever can be best for everybody's usage and sure. uh, always find those little bugs here and there on a website and, you know, which all sites have. So right. that, that's great to uh, have that opportunity, you know, for, uh, for people to work on. Um, yeah. I know yeah. right now, as I've gone through the site, it's, it's very user-friendly that, that I found. And, um, you know, I, I look forward personally to, to working with it. Great. Thank you very much. Great. Well, again, I, I appreciate your time. And uh, I encourage all the listeners to, uh, you know, log into the uh, I Am Sapien website and, you know, look around and, Start putting in some ideas and let's start making a difference in the world. You bet. Thank you for listening to this episode with Chris Shea. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com.